Hi my friends, this is Ken 1171 Designs and in this video I want to show you guys a new script I have created that is dedicated to converting poses that are native in DA Studio to Poser. Let's open the script and this is what it looks like. It's called the Duff Pose Converter, which uh, uh, D-U-F, DUF is the file format used in DAS Studio 4, and that's how uh, poses and basically everything else is stored in DAS Studio these days. Um, and uh, I made this script for a number of reasons. I wanted a way to get, for example, I have on stage right now a hive wire down figure, and uh, there are a number of poses uh, for her that were only sold for that studio and they, they are in Duff format, so I cannot use them in Poser. Um, let me show you some of them here. So these are uh, DAS Studio poses, as you can see here, the, the file extension is Duff. Um, those are DAS Studio 4 files. And I want to use them in Poser, but, uh, and that's why I created this script. And uh, so it has two options. One is to load uh, the pose as it is and apply it directly to the figure. And the other one is this one, convert to Duff. You'll notice that whenever I switch to another mode, uh, the instructions here on the drop area uh, tell you uh, how it works. For example, in the load Duff pose, I just have to drop a single pose here. For example, let me get this pose over here and drag it uh, on the drop area while the figure is selected, and you'll see the pose is immediately uh, applied to the uh, to the figure I have selected in Poser. Mind you, if you don't have any figure uh, selected in Poser, this message here that's green right now, it says success, the post has been has been loaded. Um, it's gonna it's gonna show in red and say, hey, you have to select the figure first, which makes sense, right? You're applying poses, you have to have a, a, a figure selected on your scene. All right, so this is pretty much straightforward, the first mode. You don't need to convert anything, you can just drag uh DAS Studio Duff. Those files directly into the drop area and they apply instantly to your figure. Uh, those are poses created for the same figure, so of course they fit perfectly. I'm going to show later some other examples, for example, loading Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 poses on Dawn in Poser uh, to show um, uh, how well or how badly they fit. Uh, one more feature I want to show before I do that is that, as you can see here, I am showing this in thumbnail mode. Normally, uh, your browser may show files like this, like a list. So I prefer to show them as thumbnails so then I can see what pose I'm applying. And uh, generally speaking, all poses always come with a thumbnail, and it's much easier to see the pose from the thumbnail than from the Duff file. Uh, it's very similar to how it is in Poser. The PZ2 uh, Pose files uh, have a thumbnail, and if you show them as thumbs like, like I'm doing here, uh, it's much easier to identify what pose I'm applying by looking at the thumb. And for that reason, I made the script so that I can drag the thumbnail instead of the pose, and you'll see it has the same effect. So I can drag the thumbnail here for this pose, and that's going to apply to the figure as the same as dragging the pose itself, which is the format. I, I have to, dra to drag and drop them over the, the drop area, which is this one here. Um, and as you can see, dragging the, either the thumb or the pose has the same effect. I find this much more intuitive. For example, the stand seven pose. If I drag uh, that over here, you see that has the same effect as dragging the pose itself. That, so the pose should not change. All right, so that covers the um, direct drag and drop to apply the pose without any conversions needed. So let's take a look on the second 
uh, mode, which is to convert files, you'll notice whenever I switch operation mode, uh, the drop area shows you uh, instructions on what to do. So when I, when I switch to convert, it says, it says here, select the target figure, which is already selected, and then drag and drop any number of DUF poses as you wish. So I'm going to organize them here by type so it's easier to select. And before, and before I do anything else, I'm going to create a new folder called EZ2 right here. And I'm going to copy the path to it because I'm going to need it in a minute. So I'm going to uh, select uh, these poses here from 1 to 7. I could select the thumbnails as well, that would have the same effect, and drag them over the drop area, like this. It's going to ask me where I want to place them. I'm going to give it the path I just copied. And boom, instantly, I have converted all these poses into, the, into PZ2 format. If you look here, those are now native um, poser files. So if I drag, for example, uh, stand one, which is this one here, let me um, put it again in alphabetic order. If I uh, get this pose here, I have now, of course, this is uh, easy to file native. I don't drag it over the script. I can drag it directly on the figure and the pose is applied. As you can see now, those are native files converted directly from the Studio DUF format. Uh, for the record, it doesn't matter if the, uh, the poses in DAS Studio are compressed or not. The script can handle that automatically, which is great because you don't, you don't have to do anything on your side. Uh, the conversion, uh, I mean, it handles the compressed and not compressed the files automatically. So it's completely seamless. You don't have to worry about it. Um, of course, uh, now those files are native in, in Poser. Um, I cannot drag the thumbnails over the, over the figure. That's not going to do anything, as you can see. You can only drag thumbnails over the script. All right, so that's pretty st straightforward. Let's go back to uh, drag and drop uh, poses. And uh, let's select uh, Genesis 1 female poses, which are these ones here. And um, let's give it a try. Let's drag this one. As you can see, uh, Genesis 1, I already experimented with this uh, beforehand, and I already know that poses meant for Genesis 1 and 2 work pretty, pretty uh, decently well with Dawn in particular. You will have to experiment uh, what poses for what figure from that studio will work best with figures you have in Poser. Um, I did that, and I already know that poses meant for Genesis 1 and 2 work reasonably well. If you look here um, at the thumbnail and compare with the pose, it's pretty close. Um, luckily enough, the figure still stands on, on the ground. And I have a feature I added for when that doesn't happen. Let's say that uh, the figure was kind of sunk into the ground. Like, 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 for example, let's get the hip and sink her into the ground or floating to the air. Um, if I enable auto place on the floor right after applying the pose, it's going to call a feature that poser has. If you go here to the figures menu, uh, drop to the floor, which is control D. If I apply that now, you'll see that automatically uh, places the figure on the ground. Let's put it, her back in the air. Here you can see she's now floating in the air. And if I apply that pose now with this option enable, it's going to do two things. First, it's going to apply the pose. And second, it's going to call, uh, where was that again? Drop to floor automatically. So you don't have to do it. That can save you some time. And of course, since this pose, let me show this in front view. Uh, since the figure I mean, the pose is for Genesis and not for for Dawn. You may need to do some adjustments here. For example, the bend is a little different, and then drop to the to the ground um, to make a better fit. Because rotations, the default rotations on each figures are different. 
And uh, just a little note uh, here, um, different figures may have different joint rotation orders, which is the order in which rotations are applied to each joint in the figure. When you drag those poses um, uh, using the script, like I just did now, the script will automatically convert whatever joint rotation order the, the, the figure this pose was created for to the figure you have selected in poser um, dynamically, automatically. So no matter what rotation orders the figure uh, you are using the pose from, uh, whatever that, that joint order is, uh, the script will automatically convert uh, the rotation orders to match the figure you have in Poser. So that guarantees that the pose will, uh, uh, will be applied in the right order with whatever figure you have selected in Poser. But mind you, this is important to understand, this script is for converting file formats from Da Studio to Poser. It is not meant to magically make a pose meant for one figure to fit angles from another figure, meaning that uh, you will have to, to give you some experimentations to find out what figures in the studio have poses that work best with the figure you want to use it with. All right, so let's go to, let me disable this for now. Let me go to Genesis 2 female, and I have selected here uh, poses that are uh, uh, are, um, come with uh, with, uh, with uh, Genesis 2. So this is now uh, Genesis 2 female poses. Those here in grayscale are the ones for the default figure. And you can see that it it's pretty good. Even, even the, hand, uh, the hand position is uh, um, pretty good, uh, almost perfect. If I click on uh, place on ground, let me see if the feet on the ground now, she's kind of floating. Um, that should fix it when you apply the pose. Yeah, you see. Um, some figures have poses that will, will work well with your figure. You will have to experiment to find out. For example, Echo 6, which is a, a character for Genesis 2 female, she has different proportions. Let's take a look what happens with poses meant for her. Yeah, you see the the hands, I mean, the arms need some adjustment, just a little one. I already know that from experimentations that Genesis 1 and 2 poses work well with Dawn. But in general, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good match. If you look at the thumbnail there, um, it's pretty good, considering that this pose was meant for a, for a different figure. Here's another one. So you may need to do some little adjustments here and there. And mind you, even if they were a pose meant for Dawn natively, if she, if you apply morphs that change the body proportions, you would have to adjust the poses anyway. So um, that's something you should be used to doing pose adjustments. Um, and that covers more or less everything you can do with uh, the script. You can um, drag and drop. Uh, native Da Studio poses directly into poser figures by using the drop area over here. You can uh, batch convert entire sets of poses in one go by switching to convert with poses. You can auto place the character on the ground on the floor after ap uh, applying poses, and that's disabled by default. You enable this whenever you want. Um, so those are all the operations you can do with this uh, script. This uh, button over here toggles the uh, auto docking off and on. By default, it is on when it's orange. And if you drag it over poser, it, do it docks like it if it were a native uh, panel. And uh, if you want to disable that, you just click here. You see it's grayed out now. And now you can drag it over poser. It's not going to auto dock until you enable it back. Um, this is a smart panel, meaning it will remember this setting next time you run the program. Um, as, as usual with my scripts, you have a, a help button here. And if you click it, it opens the PDF manual, which has all the information you know 
about the script and it's available to you at your fingertips. You can open it at any time by just clicking the question mark button. One more thing I want you to know is that you don't need to have DAS Studio installed to use this script. You just need the dev file somewhere in your computer so you can drag and drop them as I am doing here. And that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for coming.